All right, here's our pulley activity, or pulley lab. Um, some of the things that you're gonna need, of course, are going to be your two pulleys. So you should have two pulleys. One's gonna have three, and the other one's gonna have two. And we're gonna try to set this up so that we have one fixed pulley. So you can see I attached it or just tied off a piece of string so that this is my fixed pulley. And then this is gonna be my movable pulley, which is gonna be attached to my object. Now, the other uh, thing that's gonna be tough for you to do is you need to have something that you can attach your pulley to. So I, like I said, I'm just going off of the back of this chair. And then I needed to have something that I could lift. So I found an old alarm clock um, and I want it to have some weight to it because the spring scale that we're gonna use is the one that has a maximum of 20 Newtons on it. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna figure out what would the output work be in lifting this up. And so I'm just gonna figure out my output force by just lifting this up. And so you can see I can read that my alarm clock is about nine point, I don't know, I'll say 9.25. Um, no, it's actually closer to just 9.1 Newtons of force. So I got my output force, and that's what I'm gonna enter into our output um, force output. So that's gonna go into that box right there, what I just found. Now the output distance, I need to figure out, well, how high am I gonna lift this thing? So my output distance is gonna be fixed. So I think what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna measure, I brought my tape measure here, from the, the moment that this gets up to this top part right here, okay? And so I know that from here to about there is gonna be, you know, about 25 centimeters. So that's gonna be 0.25 meters. So that is gonna be my fixed distance output. Now this is gonna stay the same for whether I'm on the single pulley, the double pulley, or the triple pulley, I'm always gonna keep those values the same. Now, to set this up, I'm gonna use, again, um, my string, and I'm just gonna tie a little loop on the end of this, and I'm gonna feed it through so that I can do just the single pulley. So, I'm gonna get it through here. Oops, this is the problems of not having somebody to help me record but all right so i've got my string through there and then i'm going to use this hook so i'm going to use one that's got a hook down here so i'm going to hook it on there and then so like my my movable pulley right now is not being used as a pulley it's just being a, used as a way to hook this and then i'm going to loop this over and i'm going to make sure that i put it on the middle pulley so that then we can do a pull with it okay and I'm gonna try to pull this with my uh, spring scale and so I need to have a way to hook it now generally what I like to do is I'll do this I'll take and make a loop and then I'll loop it around okay into the string So creating a little loop around and in so that I can untie it pretty easy and I'll be able to kind of use this string again without having to cut it. So I got to get my pulley or my alarm clock hooked back up again. And I've got my loop here that I'm going to pull on and then we just hook our spring scale to it, Oops, wrong spring scale, and we're going to now measure our pull. So we're going to pull so I can get a reading from the spring scale, and I'm going to pull it a distance. So I got to measure the distance that I'm going to pull. So I'm going to grab hold of the line here, and I'm just going to pull it up until I get to the point to where I want it to be. And this is where I grab somebody to have them help so that I can then measure the distance of the string from where I grab, so how far did I move, and I'll use my tape measure for that. Now, 
when we set up for the double pulley, okay, the double pulley is going to be a little bit different. I'm going to go ahead and take my string out here. I'm going to get my knot out of here. Okay. When I set this up, I want this one to be that I'm going to um, go across two things. So this time with my double pulley down here, I'm going to go through that pulley first. Okay, so I'm going to bring my string through here. Why not through there? And then I'm going to bring this up. And I'm going to hook this to the hook end of that pulley up here. Okay, oops. And then we got to make sure that we're on the pulley. Extra set of hands is going to be most helpful when you do this lab. So if you got a little sibling or if you've got somebody that can help you out, um, you're going to want to do that. Okay. So we got to keep this hooked and then keep the string here. So this is where I'm going to take a little bit of extra. Oops. There you go. So now the movable pulley has two strings on it. So now we're going to move it this way. So again, I'm going to tie my little loop here so that I can then pull on my string. I'm going to measure. So the distance that we're going up with the alarm clock is going to be the exact same distance as it was um, from before. So our output force and the output distance are still the same. But now we're just going to lift up and measure and see how much force it takes there. And again, we're going to measure the distance that we have to pull of the string. So we're going to see how that relates. Now the last one uh, that we're doing is a triple. So again, this one I hooked up here, brought through the pulley, and then back around. So to do the triple, I'm going to take that hooked one, and now I'm going to go through one of my pulleys up here at the top. So I haven't done anything different except unhook the string and I got to feed it through here. Let's see. All right. And oops. I'm going to bring that one down and I'm going to hook it to my movable pulley. So now my movable pulley is going to be hooked here. Oops. The hook for my pulley is going to be attached there. And you can see that what I need to do now is get that string right here and make sure it's going around. So I should have, let's see, we can do this. Keep the tension on it. There we go. Okay, so we should be set so that we've got the string hooked here. It goes up and over our pulley here. Oh, this is where we gotta be over a pulley. Okay, so the string comes up here over one of our pulleys there, back down there, over that pulley there, back up here, and then we're gonna pull this way. And so we'll use our spring scale to measure our force and measure our distance by the length that we pull, and we'll be able to say that. And that's how we kind of go through and fill in our box for our green boxes. So there's your single pulley, we got our double pulley box, and then we've got a triple pulley box, okay? And then you get to do a choice one at the end, so you're going to get a chance to kind of use, if you want, to try to set up more of the extra pulleys um, so that we can see if you can see a, a nice one there. Um, and the next part of the video will be on the calculations. All right, this is just to help you get through 
the calculation. So like this is your green box on your sheet. You should have a force out, a distance out, a force in, and a distance in. Remember, the force out and distance out are not going to change. Now in your calculations box, this is your yellow box. You're going to have to figure out the work out. Now the work out is really just the force times the distance. So I'm just going to take this value here and this value here and times them together. And that's going to give us the work that we're going to get out of the machine. Now that's going to be that joule. So that's the energy that the machine had to do in lifting the object. The work in then is the force times the distance that you had to do in using the machine. So this is our work in. Now again, what we're expecting is that the work out would be equal to the work in if no friction. But because we're working in kind of the real world, we know that this is probably going to be bigger than this is. Okay, so if our work in is bigger than our work out, that means that we have a loss in efficiency. So our percent efficiency is just going to be equal to the work out, or yeah, the work out divided by the work in times 100. So the more energy that we put in is the bigger energy. The energy that we got out was the lesser energy. We lost energy in between here. We times that by 100%, and that will give us our percent efficiency. So the yellow boxes are the work out, the work in, and the percent efficiency. Those are the three boxes you need to do there. When you're done with that, you'll want to do a little bit of discussion about each of the pulley systems. So like, what was the advantage of the single pulley system? Um, did you find anything there that was unique? Same thing when you get to the double and the triple pulleys. And then the final one would be your discussion on the whole lab, and that's after you do your choice pulley. And remember, your choice one, you're just going to record a video. Um, if you do have any questions, just go ahead and join into a meet and I'll answer those in class.